The next module we'd like to cover for Google Sites is the Calendar module. So I'll click on Go Now. And for the purposes of this presentation, I've used the generic Google US Holidays calendar. You'll undoubtedly want to set up a classroom calendar. But first, let's get rid of the US Holidays calendar. I click on Edit Page. And I click anywhere within the gadget. Once I do that, I have some options down at the bottom. One of them is Remove. Then I'll say Save. Now, if I were to try to insert a calendar, I go Insert, Calendar, and what's going to show up is what's available within my account. So I'm not quite ready yet. What I'm going to have to do is go to Calendar, and then add a new calendar. I'll call it Classroom Calendar. I could give it a description and so on, but for the purposes of this video, we'll just make one other change, which is make this calendar public. Because it's going to be on a web page, we want people to be able to see it. We're going to say Create Calendar, and then Google's going to go, oh no, if you make your calendar public, it's going to be visible. Are you sure you want to do this? And For the, this purpose, yes, we do. Then I take a look at today, February 9th, and about 3.30, I'll say TCEA presentation. Now I could go into the edit the event details. Got to make sure it's in the classroom calendar. I create the event. All right. Don't want that there. So I've got the calendar all set up right now. I've only put one event in, but you'll see the idea once we get going here. Now I'm going to go back to sites. Then go to the calendar. I'm going to edit the page. And I'm going to insert our new calendar. You'll now see that the classroom calendar shows up. So I'll select that. I have all these options. You'll have to decide what you want to do with those, but for now we'll just hit save and we'll save the page. So now you can see that I've got the Google Calendar here. I've got the TCA presentation. And so now when people come around here, they're going to be able to see what important classroom events you've got going on. So that's all there is to making a calendar and that's all there is to inserting it. I hope this has helped you with your calendar module page on this Classroom Collaborative site.